A much-loved family man, aspiring politician and anti-drugs campaigner, Donald McKay was murdered for taking a stand against crime. Two days before he disappeared, he confessed he was a marked man after informing police of a massive marijuana crop outside of Griffith. The corruption goes so high that no one would... No, well, no body is prepared to touch. Donald McKay was shot dead in the car park of a Griffith Hotel in July 1977. It prompted the Woodward Royal Commission, which found he was killed by a hitman. Police believe contract killer James Baisley pulled the trigger and charged him with conspiracy to murder. Detectives believe Griffith drug kingpin Bob Tremboli organised the killing and asked associate Gio Titzoni to hire Baisley. The case immortalised in the television drama Underbelly. Bob Trimboli died in 1987 and Titzoni a year later. Baisley was released from prison in 2001, just before Donald McKay's widow Barbara died. Last year, police offered a $200,000 reward for information. It's believed that led to a tip-off and this week's search. But they haven't gone there for fun or exercise or the fresh air. Former 10 News police reporter Harry Potter, who covered the case extensively, believes the reward has been crucial. Now 35 years has passed, well somebody who wants the information maybe wouldn't feel at risk compared to 10 years after when somebody might have uh, pull it, put a bullet into them. But the source of the information is unlikely to be Baisley. Even at the age of 87, he could still be extradited to New South Wales to face a murder charge if police find Donald McKay's remains. Candace Wyatt, 10 News.